For those who don't know us, I'm Alex. I made the decision to move to the Philippines about two years ago, and I decided to make it my permanent home. Here I met my lovely wife, Jen. Together we've embarked on a new chapter of our lives, on a stunning island of Negros in the Philippines. Today I want to share with you the story of how a small miracle found its way into our lives. This is the sac, and that's the baby, the embryo. It's still a dot, no heartbeat yet. Still very early. It is around 9 p.m. and Jen is signing up her documents in a clinic. So after half hour I got first update, uh, they called to our doctor and uh, checked Jen, her canal is around 3 cm, which is on the way, but they need to wait until like 10 cm, so for no normal delivery. How's your feeling? I don't feel good, it's really painful really. You can handle it. It's already soon 25th, so everything is according to plan. <laughs> so now I'm uh, in a private room. Here is bed for her and small bed for me. They have AC, which I don't use. I don't like AC. They have TV, which I don't watch. Fridge and CR. Yeah, no water heater, baldy, and it costs 3500 per night, which uh, may be not so cheap, but also not so expensive, because uh, cheapest place, cheapest room in the baguette you can rent about 1000 pesos, and here you are not in a sum, I don't know, Airbnb, here is hospital, clinic, and of course, prices should be higher, so 3500 for private room. It's not cheap, but it is reasonable. I will wait, uh, Jen, until she will call me or doctors will call me, because they said she can maybe will deliver in the morning, or maybe afternoon, or maybe in the evening. So it depends on uh, how her body will react. Now it's uh, 3.30 a.m. so 5 hours already uh, we arrived here. She feels not so good, very painful. She's struggling. Oof. Oof. Now it's 6 a.m. 6.05. Jen called me around 4.20, so I slept around one hour and she asked me to rub her back because it was really painful. In a movie, a woman trying to, I don't know, show him to hold hand. But in real life, uh, it doesn't help at all. Only rubbing back and uh, massaging back can can help a bit. So after about two hours of almost two hours of more suffering, now our doctor came here and uh, it's already nine or more centimeters. So they transferred her in in a delivery room. Uh, I cannot go there, at least I, I was with her time here, like two maybe hours at least. Oh, I can hear Trixie. Yeah, I can hear this small meh, like a kitten. Oh, I'm so happy that everything is fine. 25th of February 2024, it's the day, she's uh, imitating cat. <laughs> yeah. 
What's your name? Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Trixie? Trixie. Yeah. Nice name. 3.165 kilos. Okay. Uh, how about Kate? Uh, they did not measure it yet. Oh. So I just showed her too. So they, after this, uh, they will. I will return it back so that they can do the measurements. And okay. Things. Did they do injection? Not of... yet. Okay. The doctor said she will talk to you first before the you. So okay. she will explain everything before. Okay. You. May I put Mark on her? Mark on yeah, her? Yeah. What do you mean? Mark her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, just there are no other babies here, no so the princess of one. But if okay. you prefer, if you prefer. Yeah, yeah. On you. the foot, maybe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, tickle in. Stick in. Stick in. Yeah. Okay. Romain na tano? Ang um, para inendo ka well Romain sa siya. Okay. So trick at uh, Jen will be here for about an hour at the recovery room. Okay. And then after that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, she will be transferred to the room with the baby, most likely with the baby because cried uh, cried right away, no problem so far. Okay. Yay. Hello. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We tried to let her uh, no, feed already and while she was there, but. She's still trying to get used to it. She cannot grasp the nipple of the mother yet. Okay? Hello. Oh. Papa? Dad? Papa. Dad? Oh. oh. It's okay. Who's <laughs> Daro? Yeah, it's okay. Who's Daro? She, uh, she she's already feeling signs of wanting to feed because she's opening her mouth. Mm. Like that. The tongue there. <laughs> you can feel so little try. fingers. So hmm. we will try to let the let her uh, latch onto the nipple again. Okay. Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. Say see you later. See you, Trixie. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. How is my hero? Are you good? Are you happy? We don't know. Yeah. yeah. Your mom called to talk with her, with your sister. I'm not sure they, they clearly understood me, but at least uh, I said that everything is fine. How's your feelings? Is it First painful? Baby. There. I'm so sleepy. It's okay, it's because of injection of pain relief. They said after an hour you will be better and you probably will be hungry and you can eat everything. If you have any uh, requests, you can buy some food, soup, you want soup? Mm -hmm. Dr. Feeding, after her first breastfeeding, Trixie, like a small chick under Now we finally got into our room, three of us. Hi. Let's rest for a bit. Yep. Now around 2 p.m. And uh, everyone rested and more fresh. So what was your experience? My, my experience is... It's terrible. Like I wanted to give up in the middle of contraction because it's so painful. Especially when it's painful at the front, lower belly, and at the same time of the back. Yeah, actually. And yeah, that's it. It's so painful. I can't explain how I feel. Like. Well, I can easily explain. 
we had a machine where it was a uh, level of pain like from zero up to hundred when it's 10 it's 10 it's like ah when it's 20 short it's like ah and when it's 100 it's just she wasn't here she was somewhere else like oh <laughs> our little one new ar arrival she's sleeping she already ate a couple of times yeah happy mom <laughs> yeah of course so today's 25th of February 6.22 around a.m. 6.26 So it was happy day? Yeah, happy day. A lot of cry day last night. Yeah. <laughs> Crying and uh, yeah, screaming well, no more kids. <laughs> Oh, she's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we finally finished everything, mm. all vaccinations, all screenings. Are you fine? Mm, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, are you fine? I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> And for those of you who is going to uh, do the same, to have baby in the Philippines, yeah. we can share some costs. So in total, uh, it was uh, around 87,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. It includes all vaccinations. So we uh, we did everything, like all what was what were suggested to us: vaccinations, ultrasounds, yeah, vitamins. Everything. Uh, so basically everything. Mm -hmm. We didn't uh, try to find the cheapest way uh, because we can go to uh, provincial clinic. Yeah, the, the cheapest yeah. one, but but it's risky. And mm -hmm. we also could hire some nurse at home, and it's also risky. Yeah. So we were glad that we chose uh, our clinic mm -hmm. and our doctor Kalina Wagen. Yeah, she's uh, good. Yeah, she's really good and helped us, and she's very. Uh, intelligent and mm -hmm. she know, knows her profession, so educated. Uh, she answered all our questions and she wasn't first our uh, doctor. So yeah. first we tried another doctor and yeah. we didn't like her. She's not like a bad person, but she didn't answer all our questions. And when we met uh, our uh, Maria Antonette, yeah? Kalina yeah. Magin, yeah, she answered all questions and she supported us everywhere she came here on time when she yeah. needed to be here and uh, supported uh, Jen's delivery so everything was fine and smoothly mm -hmm. and Trixie is healthy Jen is fine yeah we didn't uh, count money like for baby clothes or for transport for food that uh, Jen has had to eat a different type of food like mm -hmm. more wages and blah 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 but we only uh, uh, counted important so for you to know what to expect so if you will have roughly two maybe three thousand dollars it will be enough mm -hmm. yeah and cheapest way it's like from maybe 20 30 thousand pesos like 500 but it's risky maybe if it's not first delivery and you are so confident uh, maybe it's fine but we choose our way and it's not the most expensive way because firstly first our doctor uh, set price like almost double like 60 percent higher than we paid now so i think we choose widely and we did our research uh, when we went to visit our doctor we already prepared questions and we already googled uh, and search answers so we already knew what to expect and uh, she clarified all information to us hello trixie in the future yeah, this video you. is for you now you will not understand anything and actually you are sleeping right now but it's okay in the future you can watch it and take some lessons or at least understand our intentions mm -hmm. so i made some welcome message for you and i want to read it for you i want to welcome a new passenger to a spaceship named planet earth 
Our spaceship is flying around our source of energy called the Sun. We don't have a specific destination, but we can predict our path even though we cannot be sure about it. You have arrived in a beautiful place called the Philippines. From your parents, you inherit certain privileges in our society. I understand that there are things you may not comprehend at this moment. As your parents, we are committed to creating a nurturing environment to help you on your journey to explore and develop your personality. Gradually, we will expand your realm of independence, health and self-responsibility, guiding you until you are capable of fully embracing the consequences of your own decisions in life. One of our main purposes as parents is to teach you differentiate between what's bad and what's good, what's right and what's wrong. Even it seems so easy uh, growing up and being adult, becoming a parent, I realized that it's not so obvious for many people on our planet. So we will try our best to teach you how to differentiate it. You will make countless decisions in your life and we want you to have a well calibrated compass to make them. Remember, mistakes are natural part of your expedition. They are opportunities for growth and learning. Don't believe in authorities. Everyone can be right sometimes and no one is always right. In our present society, there are vast number of rules. I want you to know that they were made by humans who were on this spaceship before you. Some rules are necessary, some are useful, some natural, and some are wrong and harmful. Don't take them as absolute. Use your intellect and moral compass. The rules in our society aren't carved in stone. They can be changed. You have arrived at a time of fast changes, and you should learn how to adapt to them. People who lived before you left this spaceship with existing technologies, advantages and problems. We don't know everything about our world, and science is the best tool we have to find answers. I don't agree with the people who impose their belief on their children. Our society holds various myth, myths about how we came abroad this spaceship. It is crucial not to accept answers without evidence or proof, even if many people strongly believe in them. Explore the world firsthand. Seek answers to questions that captivate your curiosity. We empower you to form your own opinions and make decisions based on your own conclusions. As you grow up, you will encounter many challenges and opportunities on this spaceship. You will meet many different people. You will learn from them and they will learn from you. You have the power to imagine new possibilities to express your ideas, thoughts and feelings, to create something of nothing. You have the potential to make this spaceship a better place for yourself and others. You are precious and wonderful passenger on this spaceship. You are part of larger story that spans across time and space. You are the universe experiencing itself from one specific perspective. And we are so happy to welcome you here. Do you want to add something to Trixie? Anything? I want to add in short to be kind.
you know, be okay. a good girl. And yeah, I hope you will gonna listen to us. Don't be so stubborn. <laughs> At least for a while until you can uh, accept your own um, consequences from your decisions. So that's it. Thank you, Trixie, for watching. And you guys too. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.